everybody. Today we're going to start talking about the elements of art. The elements of art are what we use when we are creating an artwork. If you don't have at least one element of art, then you just have a blank sheet of paper. So some things that you can use to create art on your paper or your canvas if you're painting or your clay if you're sculpting and so on, but you can use uh, colors, lines, shapes, textures, value, space, and forms. Um, today we're going to start with line. Um, it's pretty, the, pretty basic. Um, for our artwork today, we're going to explore some different kinds of lines. Um, so the, a line is a path of a point. If I have my pencil and I just put it on the paper, we don't have anything. We just have a point. I don't even know if you can see that little point, but there it is. But once your pencil starts moving, and you make a path with your point, then you have a line. Now, lines can be horizontal, which means they go from left to right. So on your paper, if you would, go ahead and draw a horizontal line. Now, I just did mine free-handed. If you want to use a ruler, okay, not only is it good for measuring, but it's also great for making straight lines, you can, oh, my ruler's a little, little bent, that's okay. Um, you can also, if you want, um, I can use this piece of paper, you can use the edge of something to help you make a line as well. So you can really um, you make sure it's a straight edge too, but you can do whatever you would like. Sometimes I use, let's see, like here's my planner. This is a, this has a piece of, it's kind of thicker, so that also makes a nice straight line. So if you have to measure your line, if you need like a five inch line, you'll want to use the ruler. But if we're just making straight lines, you don't have to have a ruler. You can just use the straight edge of a piece of paper or a notebook, whatever. Okay, so here we have our horizontal line. The next line that we're going to create is a vertical line. And for this vertical line, I wanted to bring back my friend here baby Sammy Snake. Now, when you were in kindergarten, you may remember using baby Sammy Snake to make some lines that were horizontal and vertical and diagonal. And even though we can't use baby Sammy Snake right now, he still wanted to come in and say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So now on your paper, and you can do this anywhere you want. It does not have to be in the same spot that I'm doing mine, but let's make a vertical line. So a vertical line goes straight up and down, kind of like a V. Well, almost like a V. Actually, we could make kind of a V shape because the next shape, the next line that we're going to make is a diagonal line. So a diagonal line leans a little bit, right? So now we have sort of like a V shape. So a vertical line is straight up and down. Go ahead and make another vertical line. All right, and then I just angled it a little bit. I'm gonna move my straight edge here and make a diagonal line. Now, if you notice, I'm going from one edge to another edge. Make sure you go edge to edge because we're gonna do something else with this other than just make lines, okay? I'm gonna switch to my ruler now just because it'll be easier for you to see. Now, we only made diagonal lines leading to the right, but let's go ahead and make some leading to the left. And this time, I'm gonna start from a line and go to the edge of the paper, okay? So you can also start from a line and go to an edge. All right, you can also, I'm gonna go back to horizontal, go from a line to a line. Okay, so, and you can kind of see what's starting to happen here is our lines are connecting and they are creating shapes. So we have a triangle here, um, we have a square here, a rectangle here. So what you're going to do is just don't, don't make them too small, right? And make sure your lines, so if you go and you put a line right here, this line isn't touching any edges, so it's just kind of there and you'll end up coloring over it. So make sure that your lines attach to either two other lines, a line and the edge of the paper, or to two edges of the paper. So I could make one big giant diagonal line right here. Okay, and then, so that's about a small, don't make it any smaller than that. I can kind of fit my thumb in there, that's good. If it gets too small, then it's hard for us to color it in, but also to see what it represents, because we're going to create an artwork that tells a story. So I wanna add a few more lines here. So go ahead and kind of take a look. If you have any big, huge shapes, sometimes those ones are good to break down and, and draw a line to make them a little bit smaller, separate them a little bit. Um, Hmm. 
maybe I'll do one right here. Okay, oh, yeah, see that little tiny baby one? We'll leave it for now, but try not to make it that small. See, we all make mistakes. We're just trying to do our best here. All right, so once you have some shapes that now you've created using your <clears throat> horizontal, vertical, vertical and diagonal lines, um, we're going to make a, a code. We're gonna color code our artwork. And let me find my um, key here. Um, so with this artwork, we're going to color in the shapes. Now, if you want to outline your shapes, hold on, I know I grabbed some here. Or go over your lines with a color. So Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this part, but I'm going to take my black marker and trace over top of my lines. And it can really be a color if you want, but I'm trying to save the colors because remember that we're going to turn this into a color-coded artwork that tells a story about you. This is going to be a great way for you to get to learn about me and for me to get to learn about you. On it. And if you need to pause the video at any time, or if you need me to pause the video for in class, just raise your hand and I will tap on pause. See that little tiny triangle is pretty much gone. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in right there so that I don't have to color it in later. Now, with your crayons, um, we're going to, or markers, but you know, I'm going to use crayons. Um, we're going to color code it. So for the first color we're going to use, we're going to use the color red. And red is going to be, um, so this is going to be about people in your family to start with. So I have a mom, so I'm going to color one square red for my mom. I don't live with my mom, and that's okay. I'm just going to color it in. Okay. Now, if you want to include your grandma, grandmas, if you have more than one, grand, uh, aunts, any adult women in your life, maybe you have a really close family friend, right? So you can add red, so you could add another red. So if I wanted to add a red for my grandma, then I might add one right here, but I'm gonna wait because I don't have a lot of squares, so I wanna make sure I have enough room. So I'm gonna start with my mom, there's my red. Um, orange, you know, I'm gonna go through the colors of the rainbow because that's how I roll, is for uh, any male um, or men in your family. So I have a dad and I'm gonna put my dad right here. Again, it doesn't have to be necessarily who you live with. It can just be who's a part of your family. So here's my dad. And then again, if you wanted to color in another square or maybe you don't, um, live with your dad and you want to color in an orange shape for your grandpa or for your uncle. Um, it can be for a guardian. It, your orange can be any male figure who you want to include as a part of this, right? So now you can see that I have a mom and a dad. Um, now, next color is yellow. So yellow is for your sisters. So if you have any sisters, you're gonna color two yellow. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to decide where I wanna put my sisters. I think I'm gonna put one sister right here. So here's a yellow. This is for my sister, Shannon. And I'm gonna put my other sister, Stacy, over here. And again, I don't live with my sisters, but they're very special to me, so I wanna go ahead and include them on here. Okay. All right, green is for brothers. I don't have any brothers, so I'm not gonna put any green, but if you have one brother, you would color one green shape. If you have two brothers, two green shapes. If you have five brothers, you color in five green shapes. Um, so you can go ahead and do that, and I'm not coloring, so I'll probably pause the video right here so you can color with green. Now, blue is for your pets. Some of us might have a lot of things to color. Okay, so I have two dogs. So I'm gonna color two shapes, one and two. I also have two birds, one, 
shit. So I have two birds and two ducks. I also have two fish, but all these shapes are pretty big. So I'm going to go ahead back in and I'm going to make another line to divide these two shapes. So if any point in time you realize you need to divide some more shapes, go right on ahead. Pick up your pencil, pick up your marker, and add those shapes. So here, this is for my two fish. So here's one fish. And here's my other fish. I didn't even tell you their names. So my two dogs are Bentley and Bella. And my two birds are Rocket and Opal. And the two fish used to be at school, but I had to bring them home. And I think that we have lightning and peanut butter left. Okay, now, um, purple is for your friends. So if you can think about your people in your class, they can be friends that go to different schools, they can be friends that live far away, they can be friends that you've had a long time, they can be friends that you just met today. So in your, for purple, you can color in for your friends. So I have two BFFs and honestly, my sister is also, my sisters are both my best friends. Even though we used to argue a lot more younger, now that we're older, we're best friends. Okay, but there's my two best friends. Okay, so for the other parts, um, this will be kind of fun because we only really talked about lines that were straight. We had a straight vertical, straight horizontal, straight diagonal, but now we're going to talk about some other fun lines. So choose what you have. Choose the largest shape. I'm going to choose um, this one right here. And in this shape, we're going to add some other lines. So we're going to add a zigzag line. So a zigzag line goes up, down, up, down, kind of like shark teeth. Okay. And again, if you make a mistake, it's fine. There's no wrong lines. I mean, lines can be, we can make a random line that just kind of does all these loopy fun things. Okay. You can have a wavy line or actually this is a curvy line. So it curves up and down. It's kind of like a zigzag but instead of having points, it's rounded. Um, a wavy line to me looks kind of like waves where you go up and down, kind of like the letter U connected over up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, you can make a dotted line. So even though it's not uh, touching, it implies that this is a line here. Um, you can make a spiral line and it starts real little and then it gets bigger and bigger. Mine are overlapping a little bit and that's okay. Um, you can even make a curly line. It's like kind of loops. Um, and um, you can even make your zigzag line go up and down and it looks like a lightning bolt. Okay, so in this square, you're going to color your favorite color. Now I actually happen to have two favorite colors. I love green and blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both of these colors, but in this square that we just did, all of those fun and interesting lines, and feel free if you want to experiment and create your own lines, I would love to see what other kind of lines you come up with because there are so many. Okay, so I'm going to start with green around the edge. Actually, I, I think I just want to color the whole thing green. I do love green so much. So green is my favorite color. And we'll know that it's not my brother because we have all these crazy lines in here. Because remember, green, when we were doing our color coding, was for a brother. I don't have a brother, but I do have a favorite color that's green. I'll use blue somewhere else. I like it like this. Okay, so now, there we go. We can look at the colors. Somebody might look at this who doesn't know our code and they might just see lines and shapes and colors. Um, but we know that we can look at this and it tells a story about it. Um, something else you can do with lines is you can write your name. If we didn't have lines, everyone's names would just be a dot. So in one of the squares, you're gonna use your lines and connect them together. Look, I used a vertical line, diagonal, diagonal, vertical and you can write your name. Okay, use those lines. And you can write it, and if you wanna to try to write it in cursive, you can. This way's a little curlier. 
So I'm just writing my name and then let's see, I'm gonna do it with all capital letters. I'm just trying to think of different ways to use lines to write your name, right? And then in another empty one, you can draw your favorite food. Mine is pizza. I'm doing this with markers so that you can see it, but you can draw with pencil first. And I love um, cheese pizza, which I don't know how to really draw. I don't know, it's got some sauce and some cheese, lots of cheese. Sometimes I get ham and pineapple, but for the, <laughs> that kind of looks like pie. That's okay, I like pie too. Maybe we should just turn it into pie. That's my favorite dessert. I'll make some, maybe, we'll see what else do I like. All right. Um, your favorite sport, or if you like to dance, you could draw that. Um, my favorite sport is probably basketball. I'm pretty sure that's how you draw basketball. Oh, I think those connect. Oh man. That's okay. Remember, we can make mistakes. No big deal. It might even look more like a volleyball. I'll decide that later. Um, your favorite hobby? Mine is painting. So I'm gonna draw a paintbrush in this square. Or a rectangle, I should say. There's my paintbrush. I love to read. So basically, in this part here, you can put <clears throat> anything about you and things that you love to do. I really want to try to draw that pizza again. I guess I want to add pepperoni on it. Even though I don't like pepperoni, it really helps show that it's a slice of pizza and not a slice of pie. I'll make that apple pie. That sounds pretty good. Um, it can do your favorite hobby, your favorite book, your favorite movie, your favorite game. Um, let's see. What else do I want to fill this up with? Well, I love to go swimming. So I'm going to put my little swimming line here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll draw a little person swimming in the water. I got their hand up. They're there kicking their feet. Swimming, uh, let's see. I love sunsets. So I'm gonna color this one in like a sunset. I love flowers. So I'm pull a flower here. Stop my flower. I was going for a tulip, but now it looks more like a daisy. I don't know. There we go. See, I know how to fix it. Um, if you have extras that you're not sure what to do with, you can just draw some more designs in them <clears throat> if you'd like. But we want to make sure that we draw something in those empty ones so that when we color them in like this one, I might draw stripes in um, because our blank ones are about our family. So make sure that in each of the extra ones, maybe I wanna do polka dots in this one. Ah, that looks like a piece of pizza. Um, we can add to it. Mm, let's see. I don't know, what else do I like? Owls, they're pretty cute. Bloop. This almost looks like an ice cream cone. Let's make this the bottom of the cone. And then we'll make this the top of the cone. We'll put a little cherry on top. Some sprinkles. There, did I fill them all in? Oh, last one. Let's do some, let's do just a wiggly, crazy, heavy line. Ooh. Okay, so now once you have all of your uh, parts filled in, now you can go back in and you can color in the pictures of your favorite things. And remember, if you make a mistake, it's fine. No big deal. Okay, well you don't have to watch me color this whole thing. You've got a lot of coloring 
to do as well. So after you finish it, um, I can't wait to see what you have created and how you can we can learn about each other through this artwork, our secret color coded artwork. Sorry, let me just, I'm just going to finish this sunset and I'll let you keep working. Started our lessons on the elements of art. Not only did we learn about lines right, that are a path of a point, but we also learned how to use those lines to create shapes. And we're going to do some more with shapes next week. Is this the same color? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was a different color, but that's okay. okay so line is path of a point. And you can think about that anytime you're trying to draw something and it's difficult. Sometimes instead of trying to draw the whole thing at once, just think about, okay, where is one line that I can draw? Try to find one straight vertical line. Try to draw one curved line. Um, or you can look for a shape that you can learn how to draw, that you can easily draw. So if I'm looking at trying to draw a giraffe, this is pretty difficult to draw, but I say I, I'm not really good at drawing giraffes, but I can find a shape that I could find easily, whether it's a circle or a square or a rectangle or a straight line that's curved. You can look for a line or a shape, and it's almost like putting the pieces together like a puzzle to draw them. So we're going to talk more about that next week and i cannot wait to see what you create i can't wait to learn about you through your art just like you've gotten the chance to learn about me all right i'll see you soon Bye bye